My first custom website, I charged $150 for the entire WordPress build out. But my fourth client later that year, I charged $1,500. Then fast forward a few years later, and we were charging four to $6,000 per custom build out. And if you're thinking the reason I was able to charge so much more was because my skills were just twice as good, four times as good, you would be incorrect. Sure, I was a little bit better on the development and the design side of things. However, I started charging more once I realized what these websites actually mean to our clients. Once I started understanding why would a local business spend thousands and thousands on a website, what benefit is it to them? That's when I started charging what I was actually worth. Now, this took me years to understand, and I could have charged so much more during those early days, so I lost so much money. Now, I'm going to show you how to shorten that learning curve and download everything I have in my brain into yours so you can avoid years of undercharging for your services and actually start making more money. And the crazy thing about this is some people have so much resistance towards this. I sometimes see this in the comment section where people believe that no one's going to pay $6,000 dollars for a WordPress website that was downloaded from a template. But little do they know I've charged thousands and thousands of dollars for a go high level imported website template. I've charged thousands of dollars in the early days for Weebly websites. But I think you and I understand that it's about the value. It's not about the tools. And once you actually understand the different pricing and what it could do for your clients, you'll be able to charge anything you want. So let's dive into the actual pricing models here. The first one is you could charge per hour of your work. I see a lot of people doing this on Upwork or on Craigslist or on you know, all these different freelancer websites. And I absolutely hate charging per hour. It basically makes you an employee. Chances are you didn't get into the web design business because you wanted to be someone else's employee and because you wanted to work around the clock. You probably wanted to be creative and you wanted to work on your own time, on your own schedule. You wanted to work on your laptop, but you are not someone else's slave. If you want to work per hour, go get a job where you have steady hours. There's absolutely no reason to be doing this. And your incentives and the client's incentives are not aligned when you have this model because you are rewarded for taking a very long time to build this website, right? The more hours you put into it, the more you get paid. And the client, a lot of times, wants this done as fast as humanly possible. And they'll be pressing you, hey, are you done yet? Are we almost done? It's not worth it, trust me. Next is a per page rate. This one's slightly better, but I still don't like it. I used to do this. I've charged $100 per page, $150 per page that you can add to a website. But a lot of clients like to cheap out on this and then they'll decrease pages. They'll ask you to combine different pages. They'll complain if a page looks a little bit too similar to another page. It's not good. The client doesn't win and you don't win. There's no reason for this. If after you've already built a website and you've charged your client thousands, then they want to add a page months later, and they're not paying you every single month for hosting and for other services, then go ahead and charge them. Cool. You want an extra page? Cool. It's $200, whatever price you want to set for yourself. I like two different models, the flat fee model, and then also the monthly subscription model. So let's dive into the flat fee first. I like charging between four to $6,000 for a custom website. Again, it doesn't matter how you build it. Webflow, WordPress does not matter. What matters is the outcome. What is your client going to get from this website. And by the way, if you're doing e-commerce websites, you're doing anything with online stores, I have friends that charge 10, 15,000, 20 plus thousand dollars for these massive, massive websites where people are selling products and XYZ. And there's tons of other niches you can go into, like you know, building subscription websites and this and that, where you can charge a lot. Let's focus in on local businesses. If you can properly show a business owner how this website is going to be a tool in their business, this will aid them in getting more sales in pre-qualifying their leads. They'll be more than happy to pay you. Let me just show you a quick example here. This right here is what most companies do. They just have a simple contact form that when it's filled out, it goes to a little message box that says your message has been sent. Now, imagine we go to a client and we tell them, hey, Mr. Business Owner, look, we are going to automatically book appointments for you just like this. And then we're going to show them a bunch 
bunch of gallery of images and we're going to show them your team photos and we're going to show them your reviews and everyone on your website that submits a form, we are going to pre-qualify them and we are going to send them a bunch of proof. We're going to put in front of their face why you are the best option to work with. Not to mention, if they fill out the form, but they don't book an appointment, we will automatically follow up and confirm, hey, you didn't book an appointment. What happened? Do you need the link? Boom, automatically text the link. Oh, they did book an appointment. Okay, then we're gonna send them a text message. Hey, thanks so much for booking at this time. Please reply yes to confirm that this time works for you. Or you can even go in and create something like this where it's a pop-up on a website and it actually goes to a form. It goes to a survey that can automatically give them a price. Now, not every client is going to be a good fit for this. This is an example in the landscaping niche, but let's just say they choose residential. They hit next. Then they choose, okay, I have one tree or I have uh, two large trees. And then they keep going through all of this. And once they do this, it actually shows them on a page like this. Hey, this client, has all of these properties. We generated this rough estimate. And then the website visitor, by the way, sees this page. If they need to correct the information, they could do that here. If everything looks good, boom, they can hit submit. And then guess what? It goes into the calendar and they can actually book the appointment. Now, not every client is going to bite on this, but you can see how this is a much more complete solution for what this potential client of yours needs inside their business. And what I have found is that even business owners that don't actually utilize this and they don't use it to its full capacity, just the fact that you can show this to them and you can show how far in depth you have thought about this website and about their business, they are way more likely to move forward with you, even if they get a price from some other WordPress developer or Webflow developer, and they're showing them, hey, I'm going to put the hero image this way, and we're going to have buttons that look like this, and things are going to move in the background. They don't care, <laughs> okay? They don't care. What they care about is results. If you can show that you understand their business they are way more likely to move forward with you. This is how you can charge high ticket prices. This is our slide deck here. This is how we convert uh, cold leads, people that have never heard of us into high paying customers. Let me show you one of our plans here that you can use. So we have the custom website and then we have the custom software. The custom software, uh, so we use go high level with this. You can, you can find a link in the description if you want, but this is how we actually follow up with all the leads. This is how we build all the calculators and how we build all that stuff. So we sell it like this. We have the $6,000 one-time website, and then $300 a month. We automatically enroll them into a $300 a month, both hosting plan and with the software. Even if you're not using high level as your downsell and offering these appointments and surveys and all this kind of stuff, you can still offer hosting. I always, always recommend that everyone offers hosting. You want to build a long-term business. Even if you're charging $100 a month for you hosting their website on HostGator and it costs you $9 a month on HostGator, right? To have way more clients than you can possibly have. And on that $9 a month, you can have a ton of clients. Why do they pay for this? You also might be wondering, well, no one's going to pay me $100 a month for hosting. Yes, they will. They absolutely will. They just spent $6,000 with you, $5,000 for you. They do not want their website to get hacked. They do not want their website to go down. They do not want their plugins to be outdated. All of these things are a reality. What happens when a website doesn't look good on tablet because something breaks or the theme gets updated or this gets outdated? They need you in their back burner. Most of these businesses don't care about the internet that much. They would much rather have what they call as like an IT guy, which you and I both know. We're not IT guys. We don't set up like, you know, internet and stuff. But anyways, as a web designer, you are there for them. You are there managing their backend presence. And even you can go further and even talk about their reviews, right? They have a bunch of reviews and you can even show them, look, your competitors are responding to all their reviews. We have an AI tool. This is built inside high levels. So you don't actually have to go and set this up individually for each client. But we tell the clients, look, you have a bunch of reviews. Let's automatically respond to all those reviews. We'll do it all for you. We'll use AI messages so it's fully custom to each client. But long story short, these businesses want someone like you that they can just text or call and you are in their pocket. And you also have to understand that $100 a month, dude, they spend more than $100 a month on freaking lunch. They buy a couple of their staff lunch and they just spent $120, $130. 
They don't care about this money. Their utility bill, their payments on all the other stuff that they have is way higher. $100 a month is nothing to these local business owners. I don't care if it's an electrician that has two people working with them or some giant roofing company and they have 20 trucks. They spend a lot of money on random shit that you don't even realize. Next up is the website in a day. So the way this looks and the way this works is it's just a templated website that you have. Like here's an example of three that we offer our clients. Here are a couple of high converting clients. They just choose one. We put their logo at the very top. We match it to their colors. We change the about us page and that's it. For a lot of clients, they're more than happy to have just something online. If they want SEO and they want organic content and that kind of thing, that's a separate price. All this content's copy and paste. It's linked to their Google page. We have their phone number. They look like a high-end customer. And we have clients all over the US that have these website templates. They don't care. We are not the only company that does this. I learned this from a large corporation I used to work at full time. And they did exactly this. They charged $500 a month for these copy paste like website builder. It's, I forget the name of the website builder, but it was like Weebly. It was things, they just imported this template. There was no customization and they gave it to clients at a 12 month contract. One year contract, you have to pay $500 per month. This is a steal, $150. Now we do have a six month contract with this and then we also even give them 20% off if they pay for the full six months up front, And that gives you a nice chunk of change that you can get up front. And then of course, if they do want to use high level and they want to use all the automations and everything that we just talked about, like the estimate calculator and, and anything else that you might build for your industry, for your niche, then they have to pay $300 and then they get the website with that.